sleep okay? Something like that. There's plenty of questions left if you need help waking up. Why not? Have you ever tried wearing a fizz before? Fizzes are cool. They are indeed classy, but honestly... I'd rather leave the wearing of bullseyes to train professionals. Ooh, a fez! I've always wanted a... Doctor, look out! <laughs> <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding! So, have you decided what you're going to dress up as? I don't know. Last year, I went to the paper wizard, paper bag wizard, but that only, was only because the paper bag was the only thing I could afford. Oh, no, my assistant deserves better than paper bags. <laughs> Follow me. Later in Later the TARDIS. <laughs> right this way, Derby. <laughs> the TARDIS wardrobe, featuring any costume you can imagine. Costumes, costumes everywhere. <coughs> we'll go out and pick out a costume. Mm, what about you? Don't worry, I've already picked mine. Go on, just call me when you're ready. Yes, because you need decency changing when you're not wearing clothes to begin with. <laughs> hey, it's... Show me. Show me places. What should I be? You're showing your size to me. I could be pretty or brave, a princess or a slave. Shut up, Kenisha. What should I be? What should I be? What should I be? I could be a scary vampire. And turn myself into a black flat flat. Or I could put on some black pajamas and go as a big fat nightmare night -night cat. What should I be? There's so many slides to me. I could be an astronaut, a robot, a hobo, a clown, or an alien creature going out on the town. So what should I be? Tell it to me. What should I be? I still don't know. Although that's kind of funny, the hobo and clown thing, because that's the, what, uh... Por que no dos? <laughs> that, yes. <laughs> that's what the first doctor called the second and third. <laughs> Maybe if I try on some more costumes, I'll find the one that's right for me. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles, Donald Duck, I don't know what that one is, a banana... This is getting ridiculous. I need to be something scary. That's something ridiculous looking. Come on, Dopey. What's the scariest thing you can imagine? The question of daily muffin prices go up. To the ah, too scary. I've got to keep it simple. Oh, a muffin now. Muffin. I think Derby should go as a burnt muffin. Really, everyone's worse than I bear. Derby, ah, oh, that's even scarier. Yeah, it's even scarier than the price is going up. I can't look. Now, what scared me of this fool? Get cozy, Derby, and I will tell you the story of Hansel and Gretel. A oh, bully. Once upon a time, there were two foals named Hansel, uh, Hansel and Gretel. He's good, yeah? Yeah, he's good. One day they went deep in the forest and they saw a house that was made entirely out of muffins. So they started to eat it. He's good, yeah? Yeah, he's good in my tummy. But unknowns to them, a witch lived in that house. The nasty old witch planned to fatten up the boy and girl and throw them into the hot oven for her supper. So while they were eating the muffins from her house, she walked out with a big smile and craftily approached the children and said, Come into my house, children, and I'll give you candy and ice cream and pickled herrings and sweet and sour upside down cakes and hard boiled all day suckers. Yeah, it's good, yeah? Yeah, it's good. And she feast on feast be 
Yeah, see this. Yeah, yeah, we go. No, don't go into the house. She's scary. Catch it away. So, Glass Berries, one way catch me here. Here we go. This glass could do some work, though. <laughs> <laughs> Ponies have always told me life's a witch. Doctor, are you ready for Nightmare Night? Sure, come in. So what are you going to be? I'm going out as the most scariest thing I could ever imagine. Captain Emo. <laughs> no! It's <laughs> a <laughs> horror, the horror! I even put on Captain Emo's voice for that one. <laughs> He's a good impressionist. Somewhere <laughs> in another universe. Cold chills run universe. down the doctor's spine. Oh, dear God. <coughs> uh, uh, more new things. Uh... Doc, hey, doctor, open up our do You know you got enough jelly babies stored away to chuck a horse. Cheese, senor doc store. And if not a horse, maybe a small donkey, I think. <laughs> huh? Wow, that's a great passion, doctor. Thanks. It's amazing what you can do with hair dye nowadays. How do you get those wings on? Ew, the strap-ons. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had the same thing. A lot of you are too young for that joke, children. <laughs> Keep your shirts on. I'm coming. Oh, sorry. What's up, Doc? Um, do I know you? What? You don't remember me? We know each other for years. Do you remember? We were there at the sailing of the steamboat Willie. Or was that? Or has that happened yet? It's hard to tell with you, Time Lords. Well, I've got a lot of to look forward to. <laughs> Uh, nice Meredewell costume. That's a good Meredewell costume we've got there, sir. Take okay, the position of her. Oh, good. Hey, the position of her, of course, is already taken. You, Mer, that do well. I am the scariest thing in the Everfree Forest. I am not Merdewell. I am the freaking terror that flaps in the freaking night. I am the Canterlot voice that trembles every pony in fear. I am Darkwing Duck. Huh. <laughs> Did I see that coming? <laughs> Funny enough, I did, because I made that costume for superheroes <laughs> for next Winnie City. <laughs> I made Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Pega, are you done yet? Almost! All right. Hey, Grammy, thanks for taking us with you. Uh... Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. But if it wasn't for you guys, I would have forgotten about it. Thanks. Five minutes later. Thank you. <laughs> oh, cute. Well, this won't do. We both can't be Captain Emo. Some pony has to change costume. Fine, I'll go change. Only because you make make him look so cute. 
Thank you. <laughs> well, it is Discord, so. <laughs> well, ha everyone, happy Nightmare Night. What's this? Better check it out. Oh no, Ditsy, it looks like I've made a hole in the universe. Uh oh. Wow, so this is how the Tumblr verse looks. What? Huh? Wow, you must be the doctor. I'm so happy to meet you. Well, thank you. Uh, it's nice to meet you too. Um. Holly Grayscale. It's nice to meet you too, Holly Grayscale. Well, we have to say now. Say we have to go now. Good goodbye, Miss Grayscale. I have to meet some pony too. Goodbye, Doctor. Allons-y, Ditsy. And so Derpy and this the Doctor went off into Ponyville, celebrating Nightmare Night by trick or treating. Nightmare yeah, yeah, Night. What a fright. fright. Give us something, something sweet to bite. bite. Please take one. Nice witch costume. And what are you, a zombie? Well, that's one way to describe him. Come on, Miss Who's, the night is young. And so they traveled from house to house, getting more candy. I got a jelly baby. I got a rock. Why does that sound familiar? The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Oh, sorry, it's been a long time since I've seen that. Right? <laughs> okay, on to the third page. Yes, the final page, and the blog is done. I'm kidding, it's not done, but you know what I mean. <laughs> for today. Yes, for today. So, what house should we go to next? How about that one? Ooh, a treehouse. Fancy that. Yeah, Nightmare yeah, night. night. What Honey a flag. fright. Give us something, something sweet to bite. bite. Oh, hi there. <gasps> it's the purple unicorn. <laughs> yeah, I know. And she's dressed up as Harry Potter. Don't you mean Harry Plotter? <laughs> I forgot she lives here. Come on, Doctor, we've got to get going. Here's your candy. Thank you, bye. I hope I'm not being too forward, but I was wondering if... Come on, Doctor! Some ponies jealous. Yeah. What did you have to do that for? I was just getting acquainted with her. Nightmare Night only comes one two years after you can see that unicorn any day. You're right, I'll go see her tomorrow. Yeah, it's not Googly around unicorns. It's like he has they come more than me. What am I complaining about? It's not like we're digging. Hey Derby, look at all these look at all the costumes. Can I eat muffin? <gasps> Wait, can I eat muffin? Come back! Wait, Derby! Come back! Oh, why can't I have one companion who knows the meanings of the words don't wander off? Uh-huh! Can't eat giant muffin! Home. Hi, Derpy. Do you like my costume? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I big your costume, Pinkie Pie. Oh no, I want to get away from the doctor! I'm sorry, the doctor? No, yeah, he's dressed as a gray pegasus. Oh, I saw him over there! Big, Pinkie! 
Hey, Doctor, I'm sorry I wandered off. It turns out the giant muffin was... What the bloody heck do you want? Ah, the real Captain Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I was traveling through universes for some peace and a chance to get away from people asking about you. By the way, I noticed it's Nightmare Night. Where's your costume? Hey, that's me! Oh, go lay an egg feather brain. Sheesh, no wonder your name is Captain Nemo. What did you call me? Captain Nemo! We would like to take a break from our current storyline to give a special message to one of our closest friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Captain Emo. Happy birthday to you. I hate both of you so much. I fixed it for you. Found the cement box. Fix what? Also, stop putting questions in the cement box.